Hello, and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today our lesson is on feeling warm and cold. Today we're going to do an experiment to see how good your hands are at sensing different temperatures. In order to do that, I've got a red tub here filled with warm water, a uh, blue tub here filled with uh, very cold water, and a clear tub in the middle here filled with room temperature water that's about in between these two temperatures. So just to prove that, what I've got is a temperature probe and I'm going to take some readings and it looks like this warm water is right at about 42 degrees Celsius. So that's pretty warm. If you do this yourself, uh, make the water warm but not hot because you uh, don't want to put your hand into hot water. Uh, now I'm going to take a temperature reading in the cold water and I even threw a little bit of ice in here just to make sure it's nice and cool and the cold water is is very chilly it's about uh, looks like it's about 6.5 or 6.3 around 6 degrees Celsius which is uh, pretty cold so we have some cold water here in the blue tub let's check the temperature of the room temperature tub and that temperature is about uh, looks like it's about 23 24 degrees that's a little bit warm for room temperature but it's perfect for our experiment because this temperature is right in between the warm water and the uh, the cold water so it looks like it's settling at about 25.6 degrees so indeed we have three different temperatures here we have warm water we have cold water and we have a temperature that's right in the middle middle about room temperature so what we're going to do is stick our hands into the warm and cold water and we're going to hold them there for two minutes after the two minutes we're going to stick them into the middle tub and see how they feel so let's come back in two minutes and see how that works. Okay, so it's been two minutes. Now let's check and see what this middle tub feels like to our hands. I'm gonna take my hand out of the warm water and put it in and it feels quite cold. Now I'm going to take my hand out of the cold water and put it into the same tub and it feels quite warm. Let's try that again. From the warm, it feels cool, cold. And from the cold water, it feels warm. Now, how can the same temperature water feel cold to one hand and warm to another? Let's take a closer look and see if we can find the answer. The key to understanding the results of this experiment is knowing the difference between temperature and heat. We used a thermometer in this experiment to measure the temperature of the hot water bucket, the cold water bucket, and the room temperature warm water bucket. The problem is, is that hands don't have thermometers built in. Hands can only sense the movement of heat. Heat is energy that moves from place to place. So when we put our hot hand into the warm water, heat moved from our hand into the water. Since our hand was losing heat to the water, our hand felt cold. But if we look at the opposite situation, where we put our cold hand into the warm water, Heat moved from the warm water into our hand. Since our hand was gaining heat from the water, the water felt warm. So the important thing to realize is that our hands do not sense temperature, they sense the movement of heat.